Thank you, Deb. Good morning, everyone. I know there were a lot of local races going on. First of all, Senator Markey, my colleagues in government, uh, good to be with you. Uh, Red and Jean Sullivan were, were dear, dear friends of mine. And uh, every year, having this breakfast in their memory is, is, a, is a, a way to pay respect to their wonderful service to the Democratic Party and to the city of Brockton. So thank you for doing that. They were an unbelievable team, uh, and we had, we had a lot of, lot of great moments together. Uh, as well, I want to remember our mayor, Mayor Bill Carpenter, and the great work that he did. Another dear friend of mine, and Bill Carpenter captured, he, he really epitomized the city of Brockton. You know, never a back step. He was relentless, relentless on behalf of the people of Brockton made sure that the basic services that every citizen of Brockton needed uh, got done. And uh, like I say, a frequent flyer to Washington to ask for more and more federal money. Like I say, the guy was relentless, and he will be missed. But uh, I know we have a field of uh, strong candidates that are trying to succeed him. Succeed him. Big shoes to fill, i got to tell you right now. But uh, whoever wins in that race, you have my commitment to work with you on behalf of the city of Brockton. I only have one message this morning. As Democrats, we have no shortage of issues, right? We want to reform health care. We want to change campaign finance. You know, uh, we, we look at the tax structure and, and, and uh, you know, fair taxes. But all of that falls to the wayside, the environment. You know, you can name any number of issues that are near and dear to our heart. But if we don't get rid of Trump, if, if, we don't beat, if we don't beat Donald Trump, it's like Dr. King said and, and, and John Lewis said, you got to keep your eye on the prize, OK? If we, if we fall to fighting between Democrats, that's it. You're playing right into Trump's hands. He's already got 40% of the vote, you know? You can see what the, you know what the Republicans are doing now? I read a story yesterday that some of the red states out west are canceling their Republican primaries. So he doesn't, so there goes democracy, right, on their side. They don't really, they're not into that. But not only that, but they're trying to save him as much money and as much energy and as much aggravation as possible to make sure that he's the strongest he can be when he goes into the race against whoever our nominee will be. Meanwhile, we got 23 candidates, or I had 23 candidates, and we're beating the heck out of each other. You know, that's not a, that's not a good recipe for success. So we, I, I know we got to debate these issues, but can we do it without tacking brother and sister Democrats and come together, you know? That's, that's the message that I have. You know, we're, we're in for a fight here. And we need, we need to be united. We really do, as Democrats. We care about all the good things. But, but remember, if, God forbid, God forbid, but if, if Trump gets reelected, you know what that means, right? Ruth Bader Ginsburg, saw her at the Capitol the other day. She'll be 88 when the next president is sworn into office. She's wearing high heels on a marble floor, by the way. I felt like I had to make sure, make sure she was safe getting out of there. You know, Stephen Breyer, he'll be 83 when the next president takes office. Uh, and then you don't know what Clarence Thomas is going to do, but, you know, it would get, if he left, it would give Donald Trump the ability to appoint three more justices, probably a more conservative uh, uh, Republican appointee than, than Thomas is right now. And that will change the landscape of civil rights in this country for another 30 or 40 years. We, we cannot let that happen. So... Job one, job one has to be getting rid of Donald Trump with whichever, whichever Democratic nominee uh, emerges. We all got to come together behind that person. So it's an honor for me to represent the city of Brockton in the United States Congress. It's an honor for me to be here. God bless you all. Let's fight together.